Yo guys, I'm gonna show you how to run a Casper node without any hardware, without any technical requirements, literally without anything. You just need $27 a month and you can run the bare minimum Casper node easily. So we have Casper nodes 400 now. This is insane, man. These nodes are growing by the day. This is wonderful to see. This decentralization of Casper, this is our utmost priority because Caspa as a network, it needs to be decentralized. All right, Bitcoin has so many nodes, we need to reach up to those nodes. So our goal is to reach 1,000 nodes by November 4th, which is Caspa's fourth birthday. All right, so this is our big goal and we're going to do it. So here is how to run a Caspa node on Flux. All right, so it's, it's extremely easy. So using Flux is like a whole nother, it's a decentralized infrastructure. So instead of relying on AWS, for example, it's relying on uh, Flux and this is extremely cheap. And when I say cheap, $27 a month, like you'd be surprised. All right, so buying your a hardware, to, buying your own computer to run a node costs like, uh, like around 200, 250, something like that. And it requires you to set it up and all this. This requires $27 a month and it's just a few clicks of a button and boom, you got not just like one Casper node, but you have three, three Casper nodes linked to this single deployment. So it's like a fail safe. You, you run one node and it, it has three as a, like backups. Very good how it's run. Also get to choose between 16, 16 gigabytes and 24 gigabytes. So for example, if the Casper block deck starts getting like a lot of activity, uh, you'll definitely probably want to run higher gigabytes and 16 16 gigabytes is, is definitely like the low end like basically like the minimum but right now i mean it's fine you know run the minimum run whatever you want because it's every single month so in the future months you could run something a little more uh, a little more heavy 24 gigabytes and also down the line they're going to have the option to have larger nodes you'll be able to customize exactly how much or specify what type of node you want if you want like 32 gigabyte ram or stuff like that they're going to have customizable options on their marketplace but currently also you could even run a manual deployment which allows you to customize the resources as well but for now i'm going to just run through the marketplace because it's super easy to do all right so here here's how you do it you go to this flux run on flux.io home.runonflux.io i have all the links in the description uh then you go down uh, to applications marketplace and you look up caspa so here we go caspa node 16 gigabytes all right for just a month 27 dollars it's as cheap as you can get when i say cheap it's like for example look at other options out there you look at aws to run the same exact setup for a month it costs 110 dollars for Google Cloud, $140. Microsoft, $220, all right? This is ridiculous. I mean, that's just the cost of it. So to have such a cheap node running is, is actually insane. So this is awesome also because it's a decentralized network. Flux nodes, there's like 8,000 of them. I believe 8,000 of them currently running across the world. So Flux, the whole network, it's still pretty small, but they're doing good. It's decentralized infrastructure, it's not bad. And Digital Ocean is another one, hundred dollars a month. Like you can't outcompete these prices for running a node. So it's honestly great. And not only that, but we're also gonna have a nice giveaway here. Caspa Cat, the Cat Foundation, is running a giveaway. If you run a node, here I'll show you how to do it. So we're gonna click this Caspa node here, and you gotta log in. You can choose how you want to log in. I'm actually gonna log in with Wallet Connect. So I have my wallet Zellcore. It's a good wallet. It has even uh, Caspa KRC20. It's a pretty sweet wallet, honestly. So I'm gonna scan this with, and there we go. I'm gonna click approve, wallet connect, go down here, click approve, and there we go. So using wallet connect in the scan feature on the Zellcore app, get to basically pair up my Flux wallet with this, uh, with this whole setup. So here you can add a contact, like an email, if you want notifications, you could put your whole period up to one year. This uses Caspad, the container. So this container, this whole system was built up with the help of one of Caspa's developers, community developers from Caspa, absolute legend. It uses Caspad container. So this is like a Docker. So that's just how it runs. The, this address here is to get into the giveaway. Might as well. Uh, they're going to pick people based on one month equals one ticket, three months, three tickets. So basically every single month is a ticket. You're going to put your Caspa address into this, into this right here. All right. So I just pasted my Caspa address in there. I'm going to click agree to terms of service. Let's just check them out real fast. Got a bunch of stuff in there. It's uh, it's good. It's good.
start launching marketplace application, all right? We got enough RAM, we got some hard drive space. This is basically just enough what you need to run a Caspa node. All right, so we're gonna launch this registration message. Oh my gosh, my cat, <laughs> my little nacho cat. <laughs> uh, all right, we're gonna click next here. Sign message with the same method you use to log in. All right, I'm gonna use my wallet connect. I click that and it popped up on my phone, my Zellcor uh, wallet on my phone. It's super nice, super convenient, honestly. Register, yes, here, register that. This whole thing here with the uh, Zellcor, they have the scan option, it's literally, on the bottom, 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 you see this scan feature. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, honestly, that's how you use Wallet Connect. Registration hash received, send payment. So here's the payment options. You get a 5% discount if you pay using Flux. 211 Flux essentially is what it is right now. Or you can use Stripe or PayPal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my little cat is so cute. Oh, his name's Sevi. So cute. All right, so I'm gonna pay with Flux. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pay it to this address with the following message. Okay, using this following message as like the memo. So let me do that. There we go, I sent the payment. Please ensure that you paid for their app or save payment dealers for later. Yes, I did. Close the app dialog. All right, so there we go. So now it's gonna run the node. Everything's gonna get set up and run in about like no more than 45 minutes is what I've been seeing here. Dang, in only like a minute or two, this already popped up here in management and applications and I already have the CASP node. It looks like it's running. There it is, unable to fetch data, try again. So I think this is where it needs to have its 30 to 45 minutes, but it looks like it's already registered in the system. Looks good. The payment went through, honestly great. So as you can see here, three instances, three instances of a CASP node running 24 seven. There's basically the fail safe, the three of them together. If one goes down, you're gonna have two others. So the beautiful thing about Flux is that these nodes, they don't rely on external uh, server like AWS, for example. But for example, the developer name is uh, Super Typo. Maybe you've heard of him, he's in the Discord. He runs the Docker. That Docker, unfortunately, does use AWS, I believe. So during the whole outage instances using the Docker, Casper Docker, it wasn't able to deploy new ones during that time. It's not a, a fault of Flux, but it's a fault of the fact that that Docker is running through AWS. Like, it'd be awesome instead of using AWS Docker to use like something like Google, GitHub, different Dockers, for example. You know, this is just this step in the right direction. And this is going to help at least put a lot more attention on Casper decentralization, Casper nodes, getting it running. So this is just how to get it right now, today, you can just get one up and running. Just a few clicks of a button, real easy, without any sort of extra hardware, without running anything 24 seven. So this is really cool, running it through a decentralized infrastructure of nodes. So these nodes on Flux, they get incentivized to, to be running, they get their Flux rewards. It's, uh, it's an interesting setup. So definitely a big shout out to Flux and what they have here. So here's like, again, the setup you can walk through. I'll put all these links in the description the giveaway as well, might as well. If you're gonna run a node on Flux, put your Casp address in that little option that I showed you. You could get entered into this lottery, claim like one of five uh, Nacho NFTs. So that's pretty cool, uh, Nacho NFTs. They basically have passive income streams going to them. These numbers are going up. You're gonna be able to get your own little green dot on the Cas node map. That's epic. And if you haven't already, vote for Yonatan Sampolinsky and Michael Sutton on the Binance 100, the blockchain 2025. All right, this is how we can get Caspa's name out there. What you gotta do is just gotta look up the names, okay? And if you click a link that, for example, it already has hashtag here, you just, you just gotta remove that if you wanna look up Michael Sutton because it's only gonna show things like with hashtag as the, as the username. So, you know, you can look up Michael Sutton or whatever. You know, you, you're gonna find uh, Michael Sutton. There, there he is. So industry leader, he's number two, that's wild. Yonatan Sampolinsky, I believe is number five. The thing is you need, in order to vote, you need to KYC on Binance, all right? So US citizens unfortunately can't participate because they limit us by IP and we can't, we're not gonna be able to KYC. Even if you use a VPN, for example, um, you have to KYC. So there he is, vote for him right there. Industry, so in, independent researcher, that's Yonatan Sampolinsky, he's in this category. So epic. There used to be two uh, names of Yonatan. Now they just, they, uh, they put it all under one. So that's pretty cool. So there we go. All right, vote, be heard, run a Caspa node. This is our chance to get Caspa out there. This is our chance to make Caspa super decentralized. This is our, yeah, this is like a quick, quick way to do it. And uh, I'm gonna definitely gonna be going into more videos on uh, running nodes, running Caspa nodes 
And uh, if you want to like more technical in-depth ways to do it, there's always a lot more options. So there we go. It's already on the map. We got three Casper nodes online. So we got one that looks like in Finland and two in uh, Germany, I guess. We had Nuremberg and what is this, Bogland? There we go. That's sick. It's not showing up on the public map. It's still 401, but it's definitely going to come online very soon. Oh, wait, there we go. There it is. I think that's it. This number doesn't look like it's updated yet, but that's the Finland. That, I think, is my node. Yeah, in Helsinki. So there we go. That's sick, man. So there we go. Got some Caspian nodes, three Caspian nodes online just from this single deployment for $27 a month. You can't get a better deal than that. Super simple. It's like literally you don't have to do anything. I to manage this app. There's like nothing you really have to do. It's all it's all done for you. Here's the I mean the setup if you want to really be all technical about it. But there we go. So easy. Got 30 days left for this thing to be running. I put it for one month, but you can definitely add more uh, time to that uh, as you need. And yeah, super simple, super awesome. All links in the description. Check it out. Peace out.